uh, for the week today is all about a very common question, and uh, that is, what's the difference between VTEC, MyVAC, VPTI, uh, and the other various, you know, variable valve timing type engines? Uh, it's a very common question, and I, I think the reason why is because it's so hard to research. I mean, there's really no information out there about these different types of systems. I mean, the majority of videos that I was able to find when I, I looked up to see what else everybody else had talked about were either in Japan, or I mean Japanese, in Japan, well, I'm sure they were filmed in Japan, but the, they were spoken in Japanese, which is um, a little bit hard to follow uh, if you speak English, you know, like me. So, let's just, to start it all off, though, um, all these different systems basically are, are a variation of the same system, and all it does is figures out a way to change the duration, which is the time a valve is open, the lift of the valve, which is how far it's open, and uh, the advance and, re and retard of, of the valve timing, um, which is, you know, when, uh, when they will and won't open, you know, depending on their engine speed and uh, other engine factors that are controlled by the computer, okay? So, <laughs> it's all very sophisticated, I won't go into it right now, you know, science-y stuff. And I'm smart like that. But no, honestly, it, it's it's all a different variation of the same system. Now, the original system was the VTEC system. And the way that this worked is, the VTEC system, you have your rocker arms that are opening and closing your valves, okay? And you have your regular cam lobes that are hitting these rocker arms. Now, there's a third cam lobe to each individual um, set of valves here. And basically, it's a more aggressive cam lobe. Um, just like you would buy from an aftermarket company more aggressive cams to make your car, um, you know, react differently and have a different power band. So the VTEC cam had basically a different set of cams inside of the original cam, okay? And what it did was the oil pressure switch um, would detect, you know, whatever engine speed you were at and uh, allow this pin to slide in and lock in um, <coughs> the larger cam lobe's uh, rocker arm to the original rocker arms so it would ride on that bigger cam lobe and give you, uh, you know, a better power band or um, more power, more airflow, um, things of that nature. Now, my deck work in, works in basically the exact same way. Okay. In fact, it was it was so similar when they first released it that uh, Honda actually was trying to get a lawsuit against Mitsubishi. Now, I don't really know whatever came of that, and there's not a whole lot of information out there about that. So if you know something about it, leave me a comment in the comment section down below so I can learn, you know, as the rest of us learn together and we all become more, you know, smart SMRT stuff. Okay? Cool. So uh, the third system that's out there that's, that's very common is the VVTI, and this is Toyota's system. And now the difference between that and the MyVec system or the VTEC system is that instead of changing to a different cam lobe, it actually advances and retards the entire cam uh, based also on oil pressure. It's not an oil pressure switch. And this sits on the cam gear. And basically you've got, like say like an X like this, okay? And inside, you know, the gap of the X is, uh, you know, another X. And the oil pressure would push the cam to one side or the other of that X so it would make contact at different points, being able to you know, advance and retard the cam timing. And uh, this would, you know, these, these kind of systems are more for um, fuel efficiency rather than horsepower, which was, you know, the MyVac and the VTEC system's major goal. Now, nowadays, every system is completely different, and um, there's a lot more variations on it. Um, for instance, uh, the higher-end companies, Porsche, Ferrari, and uh, BMW, they came up with uh, what they call cam phasing, okay, instead of variable valve timing. And basically what they did is um, you've got your cam lobe, which, you know, looks like an egg, and then it's also, you know, along this way. So along that ridge there, you've got a high point and a low point, and basically a different grind all the way along the actual cam itself. And so what the what their system would do, once again using oil pressure, would push that cam over and, you know, allow it to ride on the different portions. Now you're able to get a much wider band of variable timing that the computer can control in a much more sophisticated and sciencey way than, you know, VTEC, because, well, uh, we're friends, it's fancy over here. Okay. But seriously, this is, <coughs> it's all basically different, you know, type system. Now, IVTEC ended up using the 
uh, same kind of system that the BBTI would use, and uh, the, uh, the Mivec system started using the different can phasing and, and stuff like that. So, I mean, there's a lot of different variations, but basically, all it's doing is changing the retarded advance of the can timing, as well as changing the uh, lift and duration to get you better horsepower, better fuel efficiency, and things of that nature, because if you can variate what kind of cam you have in the car, you can put a different, like, you can make the car react differently without having to do engine work, okay? So that's why it's a, it's a really big, you know, deal when these Honda guys talk about, oh, I got big kind of crib, because it's actually a pretty big deal. You're able to simulate having a racing cam in there with just putting in a controller and allowing VTEC to run at a lower RPM um, based on how much, you know, horsepower you want to get or advance and retard the cam timing and that sort of thing based on these controllers. So you're able to really manipulate and tune the car um, and get more horsepower using variable valve timing, which is why, you know, all these manufacturers are now using it. Um, they're great systems. I've never heard anybody once complain about, you know, having the VTEC or the MyVEC system. Um, the only thing I've ever heard is it's like, it's like having a small turbo but without the benefits of boost. So, I mean, it's, is it as good as forced induction or, you know, the super race cams? No. But it is a better system than just a straight up, I've just got one cam or two cams or whatever, and that's, you know, the profile of it. And if I want to do anything different, i got to switch it out. So, I mean, variable valve timing is a good thing to have, okay? And, uh, it's very good for your edge, it's very good for horsepower, it's very good for fuel efficiency, it's very good for tuning options, and being able to really modify your car. So, that's, I mean, that's pretty much the systems in, in a nutshell. I mean, if you really want to get into detail, you really have to go out and buy the actual service manual from the manufacturer for these specific systems. Because without, without that, they're not going to go into detail, they're not putting this stuff out on the internet, because they don't want everybody copying each other figure out the other one's doing because, you know, all the manufacturers are, well, crappy like that. I mean, pretty much, it comes down to the different systems. You've either got a fuel efficiency system or a horsepower system, and, uh, I mean, it's, it's all pretty much different names. Uh, VTAC stands for Variable Valve Timing Electronic Control. Uh, MyVEC stands for Mitsubishi Innovative Variable Valve Timing Electronic Control. VVTI is Variable Valve Timing Intelligence. Um, IVTAC is Intelligent VTAC. So, I mean, you, you've got these just pretty much different names because auto manufacturers like to patent their names and not allow other, you know, auto manufacturers to have the same name, blah, 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 okay? It's the same shit. It's pretty much the same shit. It really does the same thing. You really have to look at the car itself and what it's made for. Your Honda Civic EX is not made for horsepower. Your Honda Civic SI is, okay? So, there's your differentiation in, uh, in your, you know, your... VTEC system where it's like the Lancer ES is not made for horsepower, it's made for fuel efficiency. Lancer GTS is made for more horsepower, okay? And, uh, I mean, that's really what it boils down to. I mean, it's just different names and, you know, each manufacturer figuring out whether they're, they're going to make a horsepower car or a fuel efficiency car. So, I mean, and then all this stuff can also be changed to control by putting in different tuning computers and things of that nature, so. That pretty much wraps up the video for today. If there's any uh, other questions you guys have, feel free to shoot me an email, leave me a comment in the comment section down below. If you could like and subscribe to the video because I'm awesome and you love me. And uh, I'll catch you guys uh, next week. We'll be doing some fun videos. Uh, maybe throw up some more funny uh, parody videos. I know some of you guys have a lot of fun with, uh, with that FPS Russia video. Um, so, you know, cruise the channel, check it out, see all the different stuff that we did. Um, doing some new stuff coming up uh, next weekend. And uh, I'll catch you guys later.